If you know me in real life, you would know that I am obsessed with Studio Ghibli. I think Studio Ghibli is the best animation studio out there, at least in my eyes. Hayao Miyazaki is one of my biggest inspirations in film, and I hope I can someday meet him, or at least go to the Ghibli Museum in Japan. Can you take me right now? Yes, <laughs> I will take you. <laughs> so I created a list with my top five Studio Ghibli films. Now, if a film doesn't get mentioned, it doesn't mean that I don't love it. I probably do love it a lot, but it was very hard to make a top five. But anyways, here is my top five Studio Ghibli films. Ponya is about a little boy named Sasuke who finds a goldfish in the sea and names her Ponyo. Ponyo then later turns into a girl, because magic. I know Ponyo is never really in people's top 5, but the reason why I put it here is because it's so much fun to watch. The animation is beautiful just like every other Ghibli film. Now this is very much a kid's movie. I feel like every Studio Ghibli film um, has a deeper message and a more intriguing plot, which is why a lot of the films are appealing to adults. But I think Ponyo definitely lacks that, which is why it's more of a kid's movie. But it's still really fun and I still enjoy myself a lot when I watch it. I think it's extremely cute and if you want a feel-good movie, then Ponyo is the movie for you. Say the five times fast. Mononoke, 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 Mononoke. How the f did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> Princess Mononoke starts out with Prince Ashitaka being cursed by a demon boar and he has to go find a cure because his arm is cursed. So he goes into the forest and finds this town called the Iron Town. In this town, he discovers that these people are actually destroying the forest, so they are in a war with the forest creatures. Miyazaki is known for including nature in his films a lot, the conservation of nature, the environment, and Princess Mononoke deals with that a lot. This film definitely has a darker tone, than other Ghibli films, but at the same time, it's very powerful and I definitely recommend it. How many stars? Five. Five stars? Yeah. On your number four? The number four? Yeah. Well, all they're, all five, they're all five stars! <laughs> Kiki's Delivery Service is about a young girl who has to leave her home to train as a witch. She arrives at this town with her cat Gigi and decides to open up a delivery service in this bakery using her flying broomstick. You may see this as a kid's movie, which in a lot of ways it can be, but its message is one that resonates with a lot of adults. Through her journey, Kiki discovers her independence, her passion, and she learns exactly who she is and who she wants to be. I love this movie. The characters are charming, the animation, again, amazing, and I think this is a movie that I will never stop enjoying. House Moving Castle is about a young woman named Sophie who encounters this handsome wizard named Hal. After being turned into an old lady, Sophie ends up staying with Hal and his moving castle, along with a lot of other characters, as Hal fights this war that's going on outside. This film was an adaptation of a book by Diana Wynne Jones, which is why a lot of Miyazaki fans kind of don't think it's as good as other Miyazaki films. And while I do agree that sometimes the plot seems like it's all over the place, it's still a really good movie and a really entertaining one. What I love the most is the characters from The Mysterious Howl to the hilarious Calcifer. Again, I enjoy myself a lot when I watch this movie, and hopefully you will too. Numero uno! Which one is it? Oh, ding, ding, who ding, knows? Ding, 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 it can't be ding, 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 <gasps> spirited away! Where is it? Oh, ding. So you like pass it like five times. <laughs> I've talked about a spirited away before in my favorite films video, which is link down below if you want to watch it. But basically it's about a girl who enters the spirit world after her parents are turned into pigs. Now she must work in the spirit world in order to free herself and her parents. What I love about this movie is how much Shihiro grows during her time in the spirit world. She becomes a strong, brave girl who 
before everything happened, she was a really bratty child who couldn't really do anything by herself. Hauntingly beautiful. The animation is the best I've ever seen. It's dark, but it's magical at the same time. This is a movie you definitely need to watch before you die. Full dramatic, huh? Well, it's a masterpiece. Oh, good grief. <laughs> so this was my top since Monica can't do an appropriate outro, I'm gonna be her voice for her. Hi guys, thanks for watching. This was a really good. This is harder than I thought. Okay, let's restart. Backtrack. All right. So hey guys, my name's Monica. Thanks for watching. Keep tuned. Stay tuned. That sounds better. Um, stay tuned for more videos ahead about all the things that I love and adore. And I think I'm awesome, but little do you guys actually know I'm wearing green sweatpants under this dress. <laughs> I'm not actually in a full outfit. I'm not this adorable all the time. I'm kind of a lazy bum. <laughs> but anyways, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> I like that. <laughs>